Henry Schenck, age 65 years, and declares that the said application of said Elizabeth Schenck is unjust, unreasonable, and should not be granted for the reasons. What? That said applicant Elizabeth Schenck is not a person of good moral character. The house would be in great confusion as though a drunken orgy had been held there. What? I'm fascinated to find out about my three times great-grandfather. Particularly since he was a Civil War veteran. I want to believe he was a really honorable man. I want to find out he was a hero. So I found some documents that I think that you will be very interested to see. Uh, Department of the Interior Bureau of Pensions, Washington, D.C., August 24th, 1899. Sir, relative to your above-cited claim, you are hereby notified that Elizabeth Schenck, whose post office address is in St. Louis, did on June 7th, 1899, file an application to have one half of your pension paid to her. So we know that he received his pension, yeah. right? Mm -hmm. And she's applying for half of it. I'm just so curious as to why he wouldn't just take the pension money and send it off to his family. So he's been notified that she's applied. All right, so let's see here. Henry Schenck, age 65 years, and declares that the said application of said Elizabeth Schenck is unjust, unreasonable, and should not be granted for the reasons. What? That said applicant Elizabeth Schenck is not a person of good moral character. What? The house would be in great confusion as though a drunken orgy had been held there. His neighbors told him there had been a crowd of drunken, dissolute men and women there in his absence. She got a woman, a prostitute, from the city hospital to come to the house to live with her, and it was not long before she commenced drinking and carousing again. A fiant respectfully requests that her application for one half of his pension may be denied, overruled, and rejected. So, my three times great-grandfather, Henry, is attacking her moral character. Yes, this is his statement. Yeah. We don't know her side of the story, right, right. right? Do we have an affidavit from Elizabeth herself? No, but we do have some more documents. Let's do it. Oh yeah. my gosh. Yeah. They are the son and daughter of claimant Elizabeth Schenck. Their father, Henry Schenck, often failed to support his wife and family, that he always was of a quarrelsome disposition and a hard drinker. Man, oh, all the way through my family. Affiant state that their mother is not possessed of anything except, that, except what she earns by going out washing. Wow. So she's making ends meet as a single mother uh, doing laundry. Doing laundry. And for laundry, you're really not bringing in a lot of money. Maybe 90 cents a day. 90 cents a day? You did not do that work unless you did not have other ways to bring in money. When their mother returned from her work, he would ask and compel her to give him money for beer or whiskey. On one of these occasions in June 1887, when their mother refused to give him money, he took a belt strap, which he wore, beat their mother over the back, causing the imprint of the buckle to stay on the flesh. Their mother was laid up for several days, and when she recovered, she left her husband and took her six children, six children with her. Affians further state that their mother always was and is now a hard-working, industrious woman and never associated with lewd and immoral men or women, but raised her children to become good citizens. <sighs> wow, that's heavy. The men in my family tree just keep breaking my heart. So this is very, uh, very strong and persuasive evidence in Elizabeth's favor. Absolutely. That not only contradicts Henry's statement, but now makes an accusation against him. He, that he, yeah, now the kids are saying, no, here's the real deal. He was abusive. Claimant Elizabeth Schenck, pensioner Henry Schenck, and it's signed by a Mr. Sam Edelstein with a big stamp that says, pensioner and inmate of a branch of the National Home DBS, and lawful wife being a woman of good moral character and in necessitous circumstances. So it's approved. Yeah. Amen to that. Yeah.